this Suns team is just too much. The trio of Bill, Booker, and Durant have already played more games than Durant's last big three and are set to make a deep playoff run. I'm Houston, and in this series, I will go team by team, eliminating or qualifying a team for the playoffs based on their regular season performance until the point of the video. When I'm sure a team will make the playoffs, I'll advance them. When I'm sure they'll miss it, I'll eliminate them early. I hope you enjoy this series as I'll continue it until the season ends. Now, without further ado, let's talk about the Suns. There's no team that can stop their offense. Butker and Durant share a lot of minutes together and are so good in ISO situations that defenders are always on their feet even if they're not the ones guarding them actively. Devin Booker's speed is underrated so when he drives, he brings multiple defenders all the time and his pull-up game is so good. He attempts over 11 per game, making half of them. Durant was scoring on double teams and he was assisting teammates real well and the Nets couldn't do anything about it as Ben Simmons is hurt again. I made this video of his return earlier this week and I highly recommend checking it out as it's about how Ben Simmons single-handedly makes the Nets one of the best teams in the NBA. He really should be MVP. Pressuring Bradley Beal while he was a point guard wasn't working for the Nets and they let shooters open a countless number of times. The only major concern is defense, specifically interior defense. They never really have anyone to paint and open themselves up for a lot of drives, which ultimately ends in a lot of free throws. Way too many times, the only off-ball Suns player in the paint was Bradley Beal. Is he a center? No, but he's their worst defender coming off an injury, so they're just trying to hide him on defense. Josh Okoji is also a bad defender in my opinion. Seeing him turn his back on a pump fake was hilarious. Back to positives. The pace for NBA game is so fast and the Suns are a fast paced team of course. Not 7 second offense fast, but they get a lot of mismatches. And really, anyone on KD is a mismatch, but I'm talking Spencer Dinwiddie and Dennis Smith Jr. on him. Like, that's absurd. Cam Thomas and Mikkel Bridges were also able to make some shots, but that was about it for the Nets outside of Nick Claxton, who's an average center. I say average because all NBA students who start are more or less the same. Yusuf Nurkic and Drew Eubanks even for the Suns have been able to finish plays as any other center, which isn't much of a demand until you remember who their last center was. But the Suns have solved most of their problems, so they are headed on their way to the NBA playoffs. That's the bottom line. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.